So let's go back uh, to the full hospital. Because yeah, yeah. this is what's shocking to me, that people don't put two and two together. You don't think you're going to get it, or you're not worried about getting it, and you don't think you're going to go to the hospital. But currently, the hospitals are full. The most hospitalization since the beginning of the pandemic, as of today, that's what's happening in Louisiana. Okay. Yes. yes. Which affects heart attacks, strokes, pregnancies. It affects anybody who Simple has a crisis. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So right. any surgery because you're full. Right. So it may not affect you that a COVID has gotten you, but if you have any right. other incident in your life, uh, right. an accident on the uh, LSU trauma center here right. in town, all of that is affected because the beds are then full. And it, because right. I saw a lady of the lake in Baton Rouge just saying, yep. the federal government had to send in mm -hmm. staff for doctors and yep. nurses because yep. they're exhausted. Yep. There's not enough people to handle the crisis. And the I'm other, going, the, the, there's your side. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, there, the other problem is, is what we're seeing is COVID fatigue among healthcare workers. Sure. It is, we're They're seeing exhausted. them mass exodus. Right. Um, we're having to pay nurses extraordinary uh, salary to come in because they're tired of sitting by someone's bedside and, and the last die. thing oh, yeah, they sure. do is hold an iPad to their face so the family can see them for the last time and they've mm -hmm. done that 10 times a day. And then leave it home and hear their neighbor say it's not real. And yeah, and then, and and then, me. yeah, and then go to a restaurant and someone say, you know, you're, you're just making this up. Right. Well, you know, until you zip, yeah, it's you tough. know, over someone's face, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. plastic bag, yeah. and that's mm -hmm. someone's grandma, you don't have the right. That didn't yeah. get to see their loved ones before they You don't they have the right.